Hey guys, Original Boris here. Uh, went to the movie theater this weekend on a Saturday. Um, it is Monday right now, so it's taking me a little longer to do my uh, movie review for the uh, at the movies. But I uh, went to the movies with Max, and we watched Men in Black 3. Uh, pretty good. Uh, it took a long time for the uh, third one to come out, over 10 years. But it was nice that it finally came out. Um, and it pretty much just follows the storyline from part one, part two, and into part three. Uh, part three, you have once again Agents J and K, and it talks about you know what they're doing now, over ten years later. Uh, they're still in the Men in Black, still a team, still doing pretty good as a team. Um, but Agent J, which is played by Will Smith, starts uh, thinking that there's something else. Uh, that uh, Agent K, top of the Jones, is not telling him. And, um, sorry, I got distracted there. But, um, it starts off where they actually have, like, I'm not going to give away the, any spoilers. I'm going to try not to. It's kind of hard not to, though. Uh, there's something, uh, they have, like, a prison on the moon where they send all the aliens, and that's where they're imprisoned. Uh, one of these prisoners, uh, ends up escaping that's how the movie starts out and uh, he ends up going back in time it is revealed that 40 years earlier uh, he had been arrested and imprisoned by Agent K or uh, back in 1969 he was uh, arrested by Agent K and imprisoned on the moon and uh, now he has escaped and he wants to uh, get his revenge so somehow he goes back in time and he ends up uh, killing Agent K this is something you see in the previews actually so I'm not giving too much away. He ends up killing Agent K and uh, Will Smith, Agent J, uh, is trying to uh, figure out what's happened. He's not really too sure what is going on. And then he's, they tell him that uh, there is a way to go to the past. What's up, dude? We got Max. Uh, there's a way to go back in the past. So uh, you're in your underwear? You just announced it to everybody on YouTube. Why don't you, uh, we're going to go outside in a little bit, okay? So I'm just doing a, talking about, you want to talk about our movie that we saw? Men in Black, part three? Part one? Part three, we talked about, we saw it at the movies. You want to talk about it? Um, Come on. Stay down, because uh, Max is in his underwear. We got a special guest. Max right here. Got to look at the camera over there. It's over there. But, uh, yeah, he fight, he has, ends up going back in time to uh, prevent... The alien goes back in time to kill Agent K, and then Will Smith is, uh, he goes back in time to try to prevent this murder from happening. So, uh, and of course he ends up meeting up with a younger version of his partner who doesn't recognize him, but, uh, ends up liking him once they meet, and then, uh, it just, uh, that, that's pretty much the movie, him going back in time and uh, trying to prevent his murder, and he learns more about the men in black, and, uh, where exactly they came from. They show different aliens. Like I said, I'm not going to give away too many spoilers. Um, it wasn't as good as the first or the second one, but it was still pretty good. It, you know, it, was, it fit the series. So uh, I see maybe a fourth one coming out. But why don't you tell us what you thought of the movie? What did you think of Men in Black? Mm -hmm. Max, he never saw part one or part two. He saw part one after we got back from the movies. I let him watch part one. And uh, we'll talk about that later. But, um, you liked part one? You haven't watched part two, but part three you thought was good? Mm -hmm. So, what did you think of, uh, who was your favorite, uh, alien in part three? How about the big fish? No, the big fish was too scary. There's this, uh, little, there's a scene where, uh, the little guy. I like the little guy. The little guy. The little guy? Mm -hmm. Remember in China play? In the, when they're in the Chinese restaurant? Mm hmm Which one? What does he look like? You don't remember? I don't remember him. He's little. Well, there's a little guy in the Chinese restaurant. I'm having a hard time remembering which one. And he has a little head. Oh, that was in the bowling alley. Is that the one where they take off his head? No. We just gave away a spoiler. But, yeah. Anyway. Men in Black, you give it a thumbs up, right? Men in Black Part 3. 
Thumbs up. I thought it was good. Not as good as the first one and the second one, but still a good addition to the series. And it, it really does explain a lot. Yeah, the movies come together with part one and part two, and it explains a lot about uh, uh, Will Smith's character and uh, why he became a man in black. So you, you'll learn more about that uh, at the end, but during the movie. So uh, me and Max at the movies, Men in Black Part 3, pretty good movie. So, and it, it, like I said, it explains the whole series. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Tell them, stay tuned for more. And here goes Max. That was Max's cameo. Max's little cameo. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.